Hello and welcome to another episode of TC Finds. I'm Tyler Dylan Cox and this here is my 2001 Chevrolet Suburban. You've seen it on an episode before. And well, coming soon, we're doing more upgrades. I've taken this thing to travel all over the place and thought, hmm, some sat nav or a bigger screen than my stock radio or looking at my phone down in my lap would be ideal for me in my travels. So, lo and behold, a tato, potato, 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 reached out to me and they said, hey, why don't you review this and you get this. Easy enough. This is something I have been kind of looking for for a while. So what a perfect storm for this. It is complete plug and play and you can keep your stock radio, which for those of you that have a working radio, this is kind of big because you never know what you're going to get when it comes to aftermarket radios, if they're junk or not. So let's start digging into this and see how hard or easy it is to install. So let's dig right into this. The box, it's in good shape. So you could even use the box after you pull the system out. So we got some warranty instructions here. And we've got, okay, here, here's the, the uh, manual. You could probably click, oh yeah, you could click that link right there with your camera and you have installation of it. So this, looking at it, oh look, even Man Manuel's online. <clears throat> so you got a manual anyway, which way? But I'm old school, so I like paper and kind of has a nice table of contents, basic information, that's good to know. Installation, mounting methods, packaging, what you should have. So double check that and make sure it's all here. And then all the things. So this here looks like our spongy stick pad for things. So we'll put this off to the side. Oh, here we go. A quick start guide. And it plugs in through your USB port. So that's pretty clever. And it has USB ports so you don't lose that port. Even better. So far the packaging is pretty exquisite compared to some things. This is actually a resealable baggie, which is pretty cool. So we got a yellow cord and white cord and things. We'll put that to the side for now. And boom, we got cameras. That is a heck of a feature to have driving cameras, just in case you're in a wreck. I mean, with this, I drive it all the time. So for insurance, this is a good thing to have. Ah, and this is the front camera. It mounts on your windscreen. That way you can see who you rear end. So here's the ball and socket joint that the screen must mount to. Easy plug in things. It's kind of heavy, which is good. That means it's made of something that's not cheap. So we'll set that there. Oh, here's where it plugs in. Yeah, so you don't lose your port. Oh, and it has a uh, headphone jack there. That's pretty cool. And we got, let's see here. We got, we, we got sugar. We got, okay, so there's the ball and the socket open oh well that look you see it tells you what to do open ah and then you can change it nice so we can suction cup this to the windshield sticky paper oh a steering wheel knob that's kind of neat I don't know if I'm a fan of that being on the wheel because I'm not a fan of the knobs either you know for steering because this is no big rig, but it might be convenient. We'll try it. Installation stuff to, I guess, keep wiring out of the way. 
zip ties. We always need those. Oh, the, the speaker. So you could talk, uh, drive and talk. That's very useful. Some wiring, more zip tie. Well, now that we have unpackaged our package, it's time to install it. Electronics are not my strong suit, so this will be interesting to see how easy or not easy it is for me. All right, so we aren't gonna use the mounting hardware yet. I wanna check it out. It has updates and help. Just scan that. That's pretty good. So let's see, we'll take, take it out of the plastic. Oh, that's nice. That's real nice. Oh, it even has a mic there. Oh, that's cool. So let's see. We need this here. And we're just going to kind of have everything plugged in to work. And then we're going to test it before we put this in permanent like. Because it's better to know if it works before you send it all the way and have to undo something. Tends to be my pattern. So that is officially plugged in. Now this here, we should be able to plug in our monitor. We got us the male here and the female there. There's a notch to line it up. Oh, a Toto, not the band or the dog. Okay. Well, there's the screen. So far, pretty dang easy to see. Everything seems to be visual. We got brightness, okay. See me da, me da, me da. So we got another display here. So this thing is capable of Apple Play and Android. So it does both, which is good. I personally am a blue text message guy, but uh, you know, not everybody is. Zane isn't. So I connected this via Bluetooth from my phone and boom, then it recognized, okay, we are an Apple and it has all the Apple stuff. So we've got my music app. I could connect to my phone. I got maps. Um, I am seeing though there is a little lag in, a, in the swipe of it. It is a little slow, but that is not a terrible biggie. Um, so now let's see about connecting the cameras. Now to make this a little easier, we're gonna go ahead and, we, me, I'm gonna go ahead and connect this and put it up there so I could see it a little better. Oh, it has, oh, it's a locking suction cup. Well, that's pretty neat. That tends to work a little better than the, oh, and it's sticky. Oh. We'll put that on there till I'm fully functioning and ready. So let's see. If I suction cup that, there, that'll be there. How does this go on? Let's see. There's a clip with an arrow and it says do that. No, maybe the other way. Oh yeah. Maybe? Yeah, probably like that. Okay. We got the sacket. Come on, baby. Put it like that. And just nope. Ooh, there we go. Stick on there like that. Cool. So oh, why did it go back to my music? There we go. So where do I want to install this? That is a fun question. Oh, okay. So I can do that. No. I don't want to do this. Where where does one install such screens typically? This is my first time having anything anyone like this. It almost be better. If we go upside down. Oh yes. Yes. Maybe maybe this is the way we want to. No, well maybe we Flip it. Hmm. Because I would like to put it on the windshield in the perfect world. But I put it up there. That might be weird, huh? No, that might get in the way.
far as versatility, here it goes. There's room for angle, but what is the best way? That is the that is the hard one. That's the hard one. Because we got that right, we got that. Maybe something like that? Check this out. So we're at CarPlay, right? But then we come here to the home and we go over here to camera and you need an SD card for it to retain what you need to retain. But for testing purposes, looky here, there's me. And the camera actually looks like pretty good quality. You can probably count how many nose hairs or boogers I have. So that's pretty good. And let me show you the rear. So here you hit this, go to R for rear, and here, here is me. Not a terrible view other than you can tell the age is coming up on me, but this is pretty good quality. So this, in case you're in a car accident, would be really ideal just to make sure that you know you got the proof, but you need the SD card, it does not come with it, and that's a-okay. You could choose the size you want, you can have more for later. So now, I'm gonna get these installed, and we're gonna go for a drive and kinda see how the functions work in a working vehicle. So I've got it installed. The one thing that did leave some room to be desired was the angle of the dangle for that. Up against the windshield, it wouldn't sit straight enough, and even here, it doesn't sit straight enough. It's always kiltered one way. So that I was not a huge fan of, but it works. And that screen, I mean, that's good. It will catch me if I hit a deer, catch me if I hit anything, catch other old trucks. So now we're gonna start the truck and see how the functions work with music and all that jazz. Come over here and go to CarPlay. Boom, we got everything I need. I could access all my text messages, texting Zane, Clayton, uh, other customers, all right here. Has access to my calendar in case I need to see my calendar. Has access to music. And check out that camera quality. You see big blue just fine. You could clearly see what you got going, going down the road. So from what I could tell, this here could only connect through Bluetooth directly to the radio or aux output to the radio, which this one has neither. So that I think is the another just downfall in it. But if you have a vehicle modern enough, it ought to work just fine. Or if yeah. there's ways around that with an aftermarket Bluetooth connector or, or something like that. Yeah. But not too shabby. So overall, this is a pretty good system. If you need it, especially like if you're driving a square body, you could put this in and have all the modern amenities, has good sound, has everything you need. So if you feel like you need this, I'm gonna put a link in the description for a coupon code, and you can go onto their website and you can get this thing for 150 something bucks on Amazon. And it makes a good gift, maybe even for a friend. So thanks to Autoto for sponsoring this, and uh, if you like it, go get it.